Hello friends and welcome to Generation Pixel. My name's Stuart and today, well, I thought I was going to be knee deep in PlayStation 5 reviews, but instead my comment section had something else in mind. You see, a friend, a close dear friend, sent me a comment and it played out in my head a little bit like this. I know, dramatic, right, but no, in all seriousness, she did have a point. You see, International Track and Field was one of the games that made a huge impact on myself and of course my social circle back in the mid 90s. So let's have a look at it, but not in the way you think we will. Come on then. The distance rise, 6.70 meters. So, exactly, how can you talk about a video game without talking about the video game, you ask? Well, this is how. You talk about the controls to said video game. Now, International Track and Field had an unusual setup that allowed for more than one style of game control. And probably even just as exciting was that International Track and Field made use of a very special peripheral. Lilu, if you'd be ever so kind, Thank you. Now let's get on to the real purpose of this video, and that is how to use the controller when playing international track and field. Now for most of the events, two buttons were extremely important. You had the circle, and you had the cross. Now the reason these were important was, well, if you were running, this was right leg and left leg. It also would build your speed and events, such as a discus or shot put. Now, if you were extremely new to the game, what you would tend to do is try and control both buttons here with this one thumb, like so. Now, let me tell you, this is slow and laborious, and only an utter noob would ever imagine this as being the correct way to control your character in international track and field. Now if you manage to progress one step up from total new, you might think, wait a minute, I can use two fingers, left, right, left, right, left, right, and as we see, this does provide a little bit more speed than a simple one thumb approach. However, it is still not right. So let's move on. The third technique or evolution in control of international track and field, we have the two thumb approach. Two different hands working independently, working left and right. And as you can see, you can build up quite a big head of steam. So you're not quite noob and you're not quite professional yet, but you're getting there, you're heading in the right direction. The next technique, you're starting to get more professional. And for that, you start to use tools. And the tool, and the tool of my choice, a common household duster. Simply by covering one finger, like so with said duster, bracing your controller and rubbing between the two buttons could generate enough speed to beat most competitors you would ever face. Now there is an offshoot to this. On the chance that you forgot to take your duster with you and no one had one to spare, there was one option. It was a dark option but it was an option no less. So let me demonstrate for you the dark side of the duster. Now if you'd give me one moment until I just reach down and there we go. You could remove your sock and of course slide said sock onto your hand, oh sticky, and your duster was with you, but this was a no-no. 
poor etiquette. Now the very last technique, a technique that I like to call the chaos technique, developed by a close friend of mine, and it's a technique that I have never managed to master, and that is a guitar plectrum, or guitar pick if you so choose. He could quite simply, with a pick, and as I said, I could never master this technique, absolutely batter any competition that came in his way. So this is God level international track and field. Of course, my strongest recommendation for everyone, whether you be noob or professional, is to stick with a trusty duster. And that is a breakdown on how to control international track and field. So there we have it folks, the many wonderful and unusual ways to control international track and field on the PlayStation 1 controller. Did you do any of the ways that was demonstrated today? Or was there something that I missed? If so, pop down in the comments for the way you done it. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you hit like? And if you want to see more, why don't you just subscribe? See you all next time. Bye.